Hey, what's up, Minuteman Ham here. I'm doing a quick review on the Contour HD camera. On sale right now on Amazon for $137.99. Uh, I picked up two of them the other day, one for me and one for my girlfriend. She really, really wanted one, so I got her one too. It's such a cheap deal. We actually got two of them for about $20 less than it would cost for one of them on any other website I've seen. Uh, the cheapest one being Airsoft GI, which is it's on sale for $225 there, although Amazon, you know, $140. Um, yeah, so anyways, here's what it comes with in the box. <coughs> the box, right here. It's a pretty nice box, although it didn't really uh, hold up very well to taking it in and out and storing it in it. Um, there's a plastic that it came in. Uh, you'll come with, obviously, the camera, USB cord to plug it into the computer to charge it and to take all the footage off the camera, uh, rubber lens cap, the battery. This is the uh, goggle mount. I'll get into how to use this later. Um, an extra sticky pad for the sticky mount. Um, I'll also get into how to use this one later. And this is the little clip that you put on the camera for both the sticky pad mount and the helmet strap mount. Alright, so anyways, how to use the camera that it comes with. Um, you get the camera and it doesn't uh, come with a battery in it or anything like that. Um, in order to access the battery compartment, you go to the back and push this rubber pad up. Well, it's, it's kind of rubbery plastic. I wouldn't bend it, but you can. Um, now this opens up to reveal the inside of the camera here. Now what you have here is battery goes in here, USB plugs in here. There's a little switch <coughs> right here that's actually high resolution and low resolution. Now I have it on low because my laptop sucks and can't really handle the high resolution, which is true 1080p. The, the video is huge. And um, if anyone out there has like a nice Mac or anything like that, you'll be very, very pleased with this camera. Um, so to my surprise, it also came with a uh, 2 gig memory card, 2 gig SD card. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And if, uh, if, if you want more memory, it's nice to know that you can go out and get a new card and upgrade the memory. Um, I can't do that with my flip cam, which I wish I could. But um, anyways, you just take this and you slide your battery in the little golden side up to the top now you push it in and you have this little red lever here and then you pull that down Whoop. Whoop. this way and uh, that locks the battery in place now to use it you put the cover back on until it clicks and now you're going to press the power button Oh, yep. Only press it once. Those lights will turn on. And you'll get a laser up in the front, and then a green light down in the bottom. Now, another cool feature of this is you can um, test to see where you're aiming at once you get it on a helmet. If you go back to the power button and you just tap it quickly, you'll get a uh, two-prong laser that comes out of this and stays on for uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 seconds. It's a really, really nice feature. Uh, you don't have to, you know, otherwise you would have to strap it to a helmet, get some footage, take it off the helmet, get the USB cord out of the laptop, plug it in, take the footage off, and look at it in order to test it, which is kind of ridiculous. So those two little lasers is a really nice feature. Another one that it also came with that I really like is that you can take the lens here. As you see, there's a little white notch with a dot on it. Now, if you take that, you can rotate it. 90 degrees to the right and then it locks in and there's another one right there and what that does is um, it changes the perspective so you can mount the camera sideways you can just lay it flat and it'll record as if it was standing straight up and down like this now if you want it on a helmet you would obviously turn it back 90 degrees to the way that it started up and down like that and um, this will be the profile of what you're filming um, now, in order to film, all you do is you keep the camera on, and you have a switch up on the top right here. You take your hand, slide it forward, and now it's recording. Uh, you want to stop recording, just do the opposite. Take your hand, slide it back till it clicks. You'll get two beeps. You get the first beep when you turn it on to record, the other beep when you're stopping to record. Um, 
<clears throat> then turning it off is simple. You just hold the power button again. Uh, I mean, a three-year-old could use this camera. I've never seen a camera that was as simple as this. It's literally you press one button and slide a thing forward. And that's all you have to do. Um, really quick. Now, anyways, this is how to use the mounts. First, it's going to come with your little helmet mount, the, the, the mount that goes on the camera itself is going to come inside of uh, the sticky pad mount. It's going to come in clicked like that. It's uh, really solid and secure in here. Now what you do is you take these two rails and you slide them into the groove. If you want the camera on the right side of your head, you'd slide this into the left side of the camera. and um, <clears throat> you Put it in the grooves like that and then you slide it forward up to the front until it clicks like that and now you can um, take this off I haven't taken the sticker off because I don't want to use the sticky pad just yet and then um, obviously this would stick to something and then um, you can keep the camera like that um, <clears throat> if you want to change the angle of the camera you just take kind of peel this off and then um, you rotate the camera to whatever you want as you can see there's grooves on the edge of this and they're going to match up with that. And there's also like a kind of a plastic Velcro sticky pad thing. I don't know what it is, but it keeps it really secure. And you can just turn the camera and pop it in. And then pop it out, pop it in, pop it out. <clears throat> Anyways, now to use the goggle strap mount. First, you have to mount this to a set of goggles. So, I'll take my set of goggles here. I'm a righty shooter, so I'm going to mount it to the right side of my head over here. Now what you do is you have your mount the pad goes on the inside. The pad is what's going to be touching your head. So you slide it in the bottom there and then you slide the top into the top part and now you have your goggle mount. Now you take the camera and you'd put one side in, I put the bottom in first. Just slide it in the bottom. Now you slide it in the top. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass and the goggles are in there. They take up a lot of slack that used to not be there. So it's a tight fit. And I'll try the top to the bottom instead actually. Oh, I have my little uh, lanyard here caught in the way. Top to bottom, and then it locks in. Uh, there's virtually no wobble aside from the slack that your um, <clears throat> goggle strap's going to give because of its uh, elasticity. But this sits really nicely. Unfortunately, because of the way my goggles are shaped, I need to put something on the inside of this in order to get the camera aiming at the right perspective otherwise it's aiming off to my right um, depending on what your goggle type is you might not have to do that but you might have to stuff something underneath the back side of this pad in order to get it to aim straight at what you're looking at but it comes with you know 135 degree field of view so you'll be able to get pretty much anything you need but um Overall, I love it. I have some test footage that I've already made with it. Um, I have a couple tester videos up. Uh, it's great. Really, really, the easiest, by far the easiest camera I've ever used. Uh, the footage quality is really awesome. You know, uh, there's really no shake. You can run around with it, ride mountain bikes, as you've probably seen in videos all over the internet. Um, airsoft with it, obviously, although you will need to get a piece of Lexan glass and put it over the lens. This is going to shatter if it gets hit with a BB. You don't want that because that will ruin your camera. So get like a little eighth inch sheet of Lexan glass, cut out a little square. You know, there's um, a nice lip around the edge of this. You just plop it on here and tape it or something. Secure it somehow to the camera. It's worth it. Trust me. You don't want to ruin your lens over an airsoft game. But 10 out of 10. Go buy this.